The host of Catfish revealed that he had broken his neck in the crash and his statement posted to his Instagram page. Shulman, 39, revealed that he had been on the way to pick his son up from school when his motorbike was hit by a truck. Alongside a statement updating his fans, Shulman also shared images of his injuries on social media following the crash. He reflected on how quickly life can change and that he had now come to a new understanding of how lucky he was to have survived. The post also includes clips of Shulman in hospital trying to stand and walk with some assistance. He can also be seen wearing a neck brace and gently hugging his children as they come to visit him. One terrifying photo also shows the crack in his motorcycle helmet. In the post, he wrote, I went fishing with my family on Sunday. It was incredible, my son's idea. One of those days that just work. We found an available boat, thank you Captain Ben, and caught all kinds of fish, most of which we threw back because they were too cute, especially the puffer. It was magical. A day full of love and wonder in the way only calm days in nature with family can be. Monday was not a day like that. Monday was a day where I learned what, before the accident, really means. And Monday gave weight to just how lucky I was to have Sunday. It's true what they say, life can change in an instant. He explained that he had been going to pick up his son, but reflected that he was glad he had been alone during the crash. I was alone on impact, he wrote. Me and the truck. And then I guess the pavement. I was alone and unconscious. And then conscious. Maybe I was fine, I wasn't. Maybe I can still do my long run on Thursday, I couldn't. I broke my neck. C5 and C6 to be exact. Stable fractures. I'm not paralyzed. My hands were a question mark there for a minute, but the human body is incredible and so are humans. Despite sustaining horrific injuries, he reflected that he still felt lucky to be able to have movement, as such injuries can be life-changing. He wrote, It's hard to feel sorry for myself when I hear from the doctors about how many people with similar injuries will never walk again. I'm lucky to be here alive, standing and hugging my family, projected to make a full recovery. And I'm really starting to understand the meaning of gratitude for the big and little things before the accident, and now everything moving forward.